As part of this demo, I'll be showcasing some capabilities around Model Config Editor. So let's get started with Model Config Editor. One can get into Tools and click on Model Config Editor. So for people who are not comfortable with CLI-based templates, they can use Model Config Editor where we are trying to add more advanced knobs that's missing on DNA Center. For example, you can see advanced SSID configuration. Let me click on that edit. So we're bringing in more additional knobs like peer-to-peer -peer blocking, passive client enable, and a lot of other things. And also some configurations around quality of service for client data rates and SSID data rates. So to get started, we brought in this support from 211 for AdOS controllers. And we are also adding some capabilities for 9800 controllers as well. So let's go ahead and create a configuration for clean air. C1 and we can also select the band and also enable some configurations around clean air, uh, clean air device reporting we can also enable some interferers. And there are also configurations related to IPv6 and multicast. And uh, I would also like to showcase the discovery option. So where uh, if there is already config that's available on the controllers, we can also discover those configurations and create model configurations out of that. So in this case, you can see that we are able to pull uh, the advanced configurations that's already present on the controllers. So we can straight away click on that and then create a new design out of that. And then you can reuse this on other network devices as well. So this is an interesting feature and if you can see here, go to clean air, it straight away shows the config which we were able to discover from the controllers directly. So now that I've created the model configuration, I need to go and map this model configuration to my network profile. So I know where my controller is mapped to. I can straight away go and attach this model configuration there. So this is the C1. That's the model config which I created for clean air. I can add this and then save this network profile. So once I'm done with this, all I need to do is go and provision the controller. So this is the 9800 controller which I'm looking to provision. Click on the controller and then it's already assigned to a site. Let me go to model configuration. Here you can see that the cleaner config which I've mapped uh, for map to this controller in the network profile, it's already showing up here. And then if I go to summary, as part of the model configurations, this will automatically show up. If I click on the info icon, it will show what are the configurations that I'm trying to push to the network device here. And I can go ahead and deploy uh, straight away provision the device 